Welcome back to Road to Fire. We're a family of three documenting our journey to fire. Financial independence, retire early. Let's talk about our November net worth update. I'll provide all our real numbers, current assets and liabilities, and how we're tracking to our fire goal like always. So please hang with me. In May, our net worth was $170,933, and I was not happy about it. Since then, we have really shifted our mindset and started aggressively pursuing fire. In November, it felt like all of our hard work is finally paying off. One thing is for sure is that patience is key in this journey. Okay, friendly reminder, to find your net worth, you take your assets minus your liabilities. Think of your assets of what you own while your liabilities are what you owe. For example, to understand your home equity, you'll take the value of your home, what you own, minus your mortgage, what you owe, to get your owner's equity. It's probably one of the easiest financial equations out there. This is how we measure our net worth. To keep things really simple, we include all assets that have a value greater than or equal to $5,000. Yes, some of our assets are depreciating like our cars, but they still have value so we include them in our net worth calculation. But we don't include art pieces, jewelry, cameras, laptops, or other smaller assets we have as those items have subjective value and really won't shift our progress overall. I would say that the only thing that can be relatively subjective on calculating your net worth is asset valuation. Other than that, it's pretty simple. So let's review our current numbers. Keep in mind, these values are snapshots in time. I try to pull these at the end of the month, but if you checked my account today, I'm sure these numbers would have adjusted. These are touch points or checkpoints on our journey to make sure we are trending in the right direction and it keeps us motivated. So our assets are made up of two main sections, our large and our fixed assets, as well as our liquid assets. And this is how we categorize it to make things simple and easy for us. For our large and fixed assets, we have two cars and our mortgage on our duplex. If you haven't seen my house hacking video, I'll link it here because it outlines our entire buying process. These three assets total to just over $423,000. For our liquid assets, we include our investments and cash reserves on hands. For cash, we have about $6,500 in our checking accounts and over $33,000 in our savings. So about $40,000 of cash on hand right now. We usually sit around $15,000, but with my bonus last month, I have added more money into our emergency account and sinking funds just for security. For retirement, we have about $180,000 in our 401k, IRA, and our Roths. And we have about $37,500 in our brokerage account outside of our retirement accounts. So our overall liquid assets are about $257,000. Outside of our total net worth, I always track our liquid assets as that is about 80% of our planned fire number. So I make sure that I always track this number separately outside of our total net worth. Again, we don't add personal items into our analysis as we find these items to not really move the needle. So I leave them blank here in our assets column. For our total liabilities, things look a little different as we now have a mortgage. But I'm not sure how I feel about this amount of debt, but I have to look at the bigger picture. We only have one car loan, which is on our Tesla, and the balance is just over $33,000. We then have our current mortgage balance of about $343,660. So our total liabilities right now is about $377,000. We do plan to pay off the Tesla in 2021, but I'm working on our top financial goals for the next year right now. So here's our total net worth breakout for November. Our total assets are about $680,000, and that includes our liquid and long-term fixed assets. And our total liabilities, including just our Tesla and our duplex, is over $377,000, making our total net worth to be about $303,275. We crushed our 2020 goal of hitting a net worth of around $250,000, and it feels good. We finally have a net worth over our gross income, and we're still far from where we would like to be at this age, but we're getting there. It just takes time. So here's our net worth trend graph for the year. We started tracking our net worth in May of this year, so we don't have a full year view yet. Our net worth in October was just under $250,000. Now we're just over $300,000, giving us an unreal 22% increase month over month. Now the biggest factors were two things. The first was our my Q4 bonus of over $43,000 post taxes. And the second was strong market performance, which had nothing to do with us. Now I'm not discounting our hard work this year, but the market really carried our net worth over time. 
This is why we love buying and holding. Now, can we end the year over $325,000? Not sure, but we can dream, right? Now, I like sharing this chart just to level set things. This is a net worth by age report that I found on NerdWallet back in the spring of this year. It gives you a clear view of where you are based on your age group. Now, I use this to keep me motivated and push me on my personal goals. But one thing to call out is that the medium net worth is a better benchmark than the average as it removes outliers shifting the curve. But don't get too stuck on the numbers. Just see this as a directional view to keep you on track for your future. Now, here is our most important tracker, our fire tracker. This outlines how far we have to go to hit our fire number. Right now, we're tracking 12.4% to our $2.45 million net worth goal. Keep in mind that our goal is bound to change, but it's what we're pursuing right now. I have shifted our end of year goal to be closer to $350,000, which I know is not attainable, but it does stretch us. This will land us at about 18.3% of our overall fire goal. I started this journey frustrated with our progress, but I'm finally seeing our results. This journey takes time and I'm learning to just stay the course. Now, if you look at our 2020 financial goals, we have reached all but one goal as of right now. Our first goal pre-COVID was to get $25,000 into an emergency fund. 2019 was a rough year for us financially, so this was top of mind for both of us. Right now, we're sitting in about $22,000 in that account. Then we went to pay off our Audi and we did that in this past summer. We are planning to sell this car once my husband gets a new job because we've always been a one car family and it works really well for us. Now for number three, we've never tracked our investments like this before, but we decided to put $200,000 as a goal and we hit it. Not sure if this is something to be proud of or not because it's basically our baseline. Now the last two goals I've chatted about in my latest videos. Number four was to buy a duplex, which we did via house hacking. And I've been loving the journey so far as we lucked out to have a really great tenant. And then number five was getting a net worth over $250,000, which we just hit in last month. So we've had a really solid year for us financially, despite all the circumstances. And I am very confident that we'll be able to get $25,000 in our emergency con before the end of the year. Now, I can't wait to see our end of year numbers. December is positioned to be a great month as we don't have any big expenses coming up. I'm working on our plans for 2021. I can't wait to share. So stay tuned. Now, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. But don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time.